I've tried to dip a little bit out of the racehorse politics stuff for the last couple of weeks, especially the DeSantis Trump stuff, because people don't realize we are still over six months away from the first primary. We have a debate next month, but the first vote will not even be cast in Iowa until January of next year. And everyone's fighting and going crazy. So I've been trying to take my pedal, my foot off the pedal just a little bit. But I thought we'd dive in just to, to end today's show because I know you guys, uh, we're all sort of roughly on the same side of this thing, uh, maybe with some differences. I thought it'd be interesting. Here's more from that Daily Wire place. Uh, former President Donald Trump retained a large lead in Iowa, New Hampshire, and Florida following a boost in the polls after his indictments, according to the latest Real Clear Politics polling average. Trump's national polling sits at 52.6%, according to the RCP average. DeSantis is in second place with 21%. Former VP Mike Pence holds third at 6.3. And Haley and Scott come in fourth and fifth with 3.5 and 3.3, respectively. DeSantis's polling average has leveled off around 20% nationally after jumping into the race in late May. The governor had reached as high as 30% in some polls earlier this year before he officially launched his campaign. Trump's large lead in the polls comes as he has dominated headlines for months following his April indictment in Manhattan on 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. Two months later, the former president was indicted in Miami on 37 felony counts relating to his handling of classified documents. Many Republicans, including some of Trump's opponents in the GOP primary, have defended the leading candidate amidst his legal battles, calling the indictments politically motivated targeting of President Biden, Joe Biden's chief rival. Uh, first, let me just ask you guys kind of philosophically, Andrew, you first, um, t taking my foot off the pedal on this thing and just kind of letting it play out. People know my personal feelings about this. I, I voted for Trump. I like Trump. Obviously, I think DeSantis is, is a better choice at this point. Do you think we could all take a breath? Do you think that would, uh, anyone that's roughly on the right at this point or might vote for one of these guys, do you think everyone just kind of taking a breath might be good instead of all the infighting? <laughs> Of course, you're absolutely right about the time here that this point in when Hillary Clinton was running against Barack Obama, she had the, basically the same numbers that Trump has now. Trump is a amazing character. He is a great showman. He is great at what he's doing. The Democrats are playing our passions as if we were a, a, a church organ. Mm -hmm. They really have figured out that rage will will help them, and rage makes us stupid. Rage always makes you stupid. So you indict him unfairly. He was indicted abs absurdly in New York. He was indicted unfairly in the at the federal level because Hillary Clinton did almost exactly the same thing he did and walked away scot-free. It's yep. infuriating. It makes people want to support him. He knows what he's doing. But if you listen to what he's saying, his message is gone. His original uh, attachment to the common sense solutions that made him actually a good president for three of his four years uh, is, is kind of lost. He just was is saying whatever he thinks people want to hear. DeSantis has a better record. DeSantis is blowing this. He is doing a bad job. So even though it's far out, he has got to change his game. His people do not know what they're doing. They don't have any sense of social media. They don't have any, they don't have any sense of mo the modern media whatsoever. He walks around talking about Florida, like Allison Hannigan talking about band camp in American Pie. You know, I mean, he just keeps bringing it up. You know, that's not what California cares about. It's not what Iowa cares about. That said, he's got a couple of good things. His, his pack has a good ground game in Iowa. They're ringing on, you know, they're knocking on doors. That always helps. But until they let this guy get out with the people and humanize him a little bit and let, let them see that he is somebody with a plan, he doesn't have to be a Trump showman. The biggest thing he needs and the problem no one in politics has solved is how to attack Donald Trump, because that's who he's running against, how to attack Donald Trump without becoming Donald Trump. And yes. that is and that is the thing he's going to have to figure out before this gets in, into the fall and winter. But you are absolutely right, Dave. This is too, too early to decide where this is going to go. It's not too early for DeSantis to start thinking about what he needs to do to become a national candidate. 